Whether you're already a seasoned drone pilot looking to capitalize on new opportunities, or someone simply intrigued by the idea of drones and making money, you're in for a treat. Come along as we discover the industries where drones are making the biggest impact in 2024. I'm Adam with UAV Coach, and today we are going over the top four career opportunities for drone pilots. But before we dive in, I wanna emphasize one crucial point. You need to get your Part 107 certification to legally complete commercial work. Our top rated online test prep course, Drone Pilot Ground School, is designed to ensure you pass the Part 107 exam on the first try. I'll talk about it more at the end of this video. Besides needing Part 107 certification, I wanted to address the other elephant in the room, artificial intelligence. If you've been staying up to date with drones or really any type of technology within the past few years, you've probably seen that AI is gradually becoming an everyday part of our lives in ways we didn't even think possible. And drones are no exception. While researching for this video, some of the top comments and concerns I was finding were people saying that in the next few years, drones will be so automated that human pilots won't be needed anymore or at least to the extent that they are needed now. And I wanted to address this really quickly and point out why I truly believe drone pilots will still be relevant in the new age of AI. Despite advancements in technology, I argue that drone pilots won't become irrelevant. Understanding drone technology, expertise in the field, and ability to educate clients are indispensable. Pilots will contribute to AI training, adapt to new developments, and network within the industry to stay informed. In essence, continuous learning and adaptation are key to thriving in the evolving drone industry. I could boldly view this situation as highly advantageous since the use of drones will undoubtedly continue to rise alongside advancements in AI. With that said, let's get into the top four career opportunities for drone pilots in 2024. One of the most obvious and visually compelling applications of drones is in the realm of aerial photography and videography. From breathtaking landscape shots for tourism boards and real estate properties to stunning aerial shots for films and television shows, professional photographers and filmmakers are increasingly turning to drones to add a dynamic element to their work. They are frequently creating stunning visuals that were once only possible with expensive helicopter rentals. A great example of this is when director Michael Bay hired a 19 year old to film drone footage for his movie Ambulance. From these shots, you can see that only an FPV pilot could capture these types of scenes. From this situation alone, I think it's fair to say that all types of drones will become regular appearances on movie sets. The next career we'll discuss is infrastructure inspection and maintenance. Inspecting infrastructure such as bridges, buildings, roofs, and power lines can be a costly and dangerous endeavor. Drones offer a safer and more cost-effective alternative, allowing inspectors to assess structures from a safe distance and capture high-resolution imagery of potential defects or damage. This type of work can help with insurance claims as well. In addition to inspections, drones are also being used for maintenance tasks such as cleaning solar panels and applying protective coatings to infrastructure surfaces. By leveraging drones for both inspection and maintenance, industries can enhance safety, efficiency, and sustainability in infrastructure management. The third industry is emergency response and public safety. In emergency scenarios, such as natural disasters or search and rescue missions, every second counts, which is why drones can be a perfect addition to these complex situations. Drones equipped with thermal imaging cameras, infrared sensors, and other specialized equipment can quickly survey disaster areas, locate survivors, and address damage to critical infrastructure. Law enforcement agencies are also using drones for tasks such as crowd monitoring, accident reconstruction, surveillance, and enhancing public safety while minimizing risk to personnel. Drones made particularly for these contexts also come with some pretty handy bells and whistles, like loudspeakers and spotlights. While some law enforcement agencies may have in-house pilots for immediate responses, many departments require training services from professional drone pilots, which can be a good market to tap into as well. The final career we'll talk about is agriculture and environmental monitoring. In the agriculture sector, drones are proving to be invaluable tools for crop monitoring, mapping, and precision agriculture. Equipped with specialized sensors, 
Drones can collect data on crop health, soil moisture levels, and pest infestations with unprecedented accuracy and efficiency. This information allows farmers to make data-driven decisions, optimize resource usage, and maximize yields. Similarly, drones are being used for environmental monitoring, including assessing forest health, tracking wildlife populations, and monitoring pollution levels. One way this is done is through aerial mapping or photogrammetry. It involves drones capturing a series of overlapping images from various angles and altitudes. These images are then stitched together using photogrammetry software to create topographical maps, meshes, and lifelike 2D and 3D digital models. This application is revolutionizing the way industries enhance safety, become more precise, and reduce the operating costs of their businesses. If you want to learn more about aerial mapping, check out our in-depth video below. We also offer a new course called Drone Mapping Essentials to kickstart your journey within this industry, which you can learn more about right here. And just as I stated in the intro, to get work in any of these industries, you need to have a Part 107 certification. Drone Pilot Ground School has helped over 60,000 students pass the exam and become Part 107 certified including me. Check out more details about it here or in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more drone tips. And in the comments, I'd love for anyone to share their thoughts on this list and any other insights they might have about the drone industry. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.